Okay, so the blood of Christ allows us to um, not have to think about what we do wrong, but think about the fact that we have been forgiven for all the wrong that we've done, and that even though in our temporary bodies, physically, we're still going to like do wrong and you know make mistakes, that ultimately our spirit inside, our desire is to go to heaven and have our new body, which is without sin and is in the image of Christ, which he appointed us unto. But that's what the blood of Christ allows us to do. And that's, this is the mistake that a lot of false teachers make, is that they don't understand that God wants us to know that we are his children now. He doesn't want to wait. He doesn't want us to wait until we die and find out if we're worthy of his you know, fellowship and his presence. He wants us to know now that, his, that we are his children. And the problem with religious people is that they don't know God now. They think that they have to earn their way to heaven and that they will know God someday after they die. But the Bible says that he wants us to know him now. And that when we die, we already know where we're going to go. It's not going to be like, well, are we going to make it to heaven? If I'm, I hope I'm good enough to go to heaven. No, it's like he wants us to know that right now we're his children. And that we have the confidence and boldness to believe that we're his children. And we can even right now ask him for things because we are on the same level as Christ. That's why the Bible says that Jesus has set us in uh, heavenly places. That we sit together with Christ in heavenly places. So he actually put us on the same level as he is. And that's why he says that we will reign as priests and kings in the earth, in the new heaven and new earth, the real one that comes. But, but it's all based upon our forgiveness, based upon the fact that he was sinless and he died for us, and we have his record imparted unto us that even though that in our bodies we still will you know, physically commit sin and do wrong and stuff, We've already been forgiven of that stuff. It's not even in question. We're just waiting for the time that we die and our spirit and our soul will come out of us, who, which is already forgiven, and we'll go into heaven, and then he'll give us a new body which won't sin anymore. But it's not based upon whether we're good people or whether we hope that if we do good enough or stay away from bad, that in the future he'll make us a child because we're already his child now, and then we're just waiting for the promise after we die when death, the final um, enemy, will be defeated. And that's the last enemy that we have to face as a Christian, is death. Because the Bible says even in death, it has no sting over it. It's not even a sting. That we have entire victory, invincibility, because we know that we're saved, and that we're just waiting for us to put off this body of sin, and go into heaven and start a new beginning for eternity. Eternity.